Hey yeah. So, uh, I seen Doctor from my Valentine last night. Oh my fucking god. Like, best night ever. I don't even care. It was fucking amazing. Honestly, it's like one of the things you had to be there. To understand how good it was, it was amazing. Honestly, like, I've never, like, that's probably the best gig I've ever enjoyed apart from my chem and Black Veil Brides, like, it's like on the same level. Like, if it was to go, like, for every band I've seen, if it was to go in order, like, who's the best, who's on it, and who's shit, it would be like my chem, Bullet, BVB, all joint first, and then all time low second. But anyway, apart from that, like, Bullet was fucking amazing. Even like the gig finished at like twenty to eleven though, which was slightly confusing. Like I didn't get it. Like most gigs finish at like eleven, and they were on stage at like twenty two. But he at Hailstorm set was obviously like. But anyway, it was fucking amazing. Like um, like I it was just amazing. It's like the like, people have been going to me. Oh, how was the gig? And I'm like, ah, it was awesome. It was amazing. And they're like, oh yeah. And I'm like. Like, it's like one of those things you don't know how to describe. Plus my best friend was there with me, I think that's what made it even better. Cause, like when I was at school, like, I never like, had like, new people that was into the same music as me, whereas like, he is. Um, it, it was amazing though. It was like, it was like we didn't give a fuck. Like, we just let go. Kinda, I guess. It, it's what, that's what I thought anyway, like, it, it was fucking amazing. But for the prices for their beer, like, three ninety five for a cow's work is fucking unreal, man. When you could get eight cans for, like, seven pound at a shop. Like, three ninety five a can. No, you didn't even fucking, it was, oh. Anyway, but I, it was amazing. Like, I, like, it was so hard for me, like, they sang, um, The Last Fight. And then, to start with, like, it started off like we just met, and it was like kind of like it was really quiet. It was like it was like slow and all acoustic, and it was like ah! and fucking like guitars and everything. It was fucking awesome, but um, their intro was pretty kick-ass as well. To be honest, like you know this song that's on the X Factor. And it's like, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not actually gonna say it. But you know that song? It's in a movie, and I can't remember what the movie's called. But the way I could put it is have you ever seen the episode of All My Fools and Horses? Where, um, Del Boy and. Oh, what's her name? Raquel, that's it. Um, Raquel has their baby, and they call him Damien. And, um,. Rodney's like, oh, it's going to be born in a full moon and it's going to be the devil's child and that. And when Del Boy goes out to tell them it's a boy and that song plays. If you've ever seen that episode of Only Fools and Horses, right? That is the song that was playing, like, that was like Bullet's intro. It was fucking amazing. Like, see, I, I, like, I just did it and I just looked at my pal and I was like, oh my god. It was just, it was just amazing, like, just, it's just like, fucking the best thing ever, like the whole gig in general, like, Hailstorm was awesome. Was it Hail? You can't, have you ever seen, have you seen the size of the heels she wears when she performs? Like, I can't even walk in heels. And I think I've just snapped my band on my boots. <laughs> Um, like, I can't even walk in heels, and like, I wouldn't even, like, they were so big, like, anyway, but I, Bullet was fucking kick-ass, like, like, when they started playing Waking the Demon, um, it's so funny, like, Matt once, once they had finished, Matt was saying something about his, Something like, I 
I can't remember what he said exactly. I think it was like that we were louder than what the drums was or something like that. Something like that anyway. But it was like, the whole place was just like was, like erupted. Like you know them songs that like you know how Bullet have they like them songs everyone knows. Well, you always knew when like like the whole place was just like singing along. It was amazing. Like it's just. Ugh, it's just hard to de like describe. Like everyone's like, like you try to describe how you really feel about it, and like you just can't get it across. And you're like, oh, it was amazing. Oh, it's awesome. It was like, and you're like, mm -hmm. you just don't know how to describe it. That's basically what it's like. And I'm only doing this video because I've had no one talked about it. Like, <laughs> my mom, like she was night shift last night, and she's night shift again tonight. I got home from college. And I was like, she woke up and I'm just like sitting there in my tour top, but I'm gone. <laughs> um, and I'm like just sitting there looking at her. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, so? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, how was your shift? She's talking to me about it. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, just ask me about it. Just ask me about Billet. Just ask me about Billet. And she's like, right, well, I'm going to go get ready for work. I'm like, what? Like, she's not mentioned it to me at all. But honestly, it was fucking amazing. Like, best night ever. But I think what made it better was my best friend was there with me and myself. I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Like, you pain is worth it. The fact that my throat is killing me is worth it. My arms are killing me, my neck is killing me. I have a headache I woke up with this morning. I don't know if that's because I'm stressed or whatever or I don't even know. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Totally worth it. Like even though we're stuck right at the back of the auto, like at the balcony, I had to stand in the seats. It was still awesome. I don't care. Like I, I could give a fuck if like, if I was like, if I had standing tickets and I was like stuck at the back and couldn't see a thing. So I'd still hear it and I'd still there and I was still part of the atmosphere. And I still felt like like, give a bit of gigs and then you feel like, you actually belong somewhere. Well, that's how I felt last night. And then I had to come home. And then reality slapped me in the face and I was like, no. Not really, <laughs> most likely. Um, but yeah, last night was awesome. Definitely gonna try going to be a gigs with Jack. Like that was a laugh. Like he doesn't give a fuck if I just like stand there and like headbang or fist pump or scream or whatever. He's totally cool with it. Whereas when I go to gigs with other people, they're like, "Well, you shut up," or it's like, "Well, you calm down. Well, you stop doing this. Well, you stop doing that." But Jack, he just didn't give a fuck. He was even like. Aye. This is fucking awesome. But yeah. Mm. Um, sorry, I'm still watching TV. Um, but yeah, last night was fucking amazing. And that is all I have to say because this video is like nine minutes long. And people probably go watch it and be like, she's still rambling on about Bullet for going to get one. But yeah, it was amazing. And my top is awesome. Like, ee. That's, that's a bit bad. But um, yeah, it's a riot one. And it's got like, you can't really see it. But it's got like a fist on it. That just looks up because now you're looking at my boobs. That I don't have. Because I have mine small. I don't have boobs. Um, but yeah. It was awesome! Um, my hearing though, in my left ear, is like gone. Like, not that I'm deaf, like I can still hear, but it's like really f like funny. But I, I've got a titan, that titan, how do you pass it? That titanus, titanus, whatever it is, like, you know, when you get the buzzing in your I've got that, and like I'm supposed to wear stupid like things that go in your ear to like tone like tone down the volume and stuff. I don't do it because that's just total bullshit. But anyway, this video's got like 10 minutes long, and people will get pissed off at me. So yeah, in general, Bullet was awesome, and goodbye. <laughs>